So anyway, I get a call the other day from Frankie Rodriguez, a, a real good guy, friend of mine, and uh, he does some great, great work at uh, Illinois School of Broadcasting, and he's got his own show and stuff. And he says, Mike, I got Jimmy Hart with me. You know who Jimmy Hart is? I go, do I know who Jimmy Hart is? Once Jimmy Hart sees me, once I show him the pictures, he was one of our biggest crowds back in the day. When you talk wrestling, and I'm not talking back in the day like it was years and years ago. We're talking about 99, 2000. He's still rolling. He's still going strong. Uh, wrestling manager par excellence, uh, singer, entertainer, entrepreneur, Jimmy Hart. How are you, Mouth? You don't feel like the Dick Clark Hello, boy. No wrestling. Look I've been at around you. so many years, man. You have. And you know what? You've been around so many years, but yet we just looked at two pictures. One of me, one of you, and we looked the same, and we told the younger kids that they look a little bit older. At what age do we keep what we look like in place? Well, you know what? This happens because we don't drink. We don't do drugs. Right. We don't smoke. You do drink a little coffee. No, I, yeah. I don't, but you still good. look good, man. It's just all, you know what? It's about sometimes I look in the mirror every day and I say, did I really get paid for doing this my whole life? Because we thing. enjoy doing it and you enjoy doing what you do. Yeah, I got to ask you, and we're with Jimmy Hart here. Uh, you know, he does it all. I mean, entrepreneur. That's what I called you. I called you back in 99 when I first met you, an entrepreneur, because you can do more than just be penciled, hold into wrestling. You've done uh, a million different things. You're a businessman and everything else. The managers, Bobby Heenan, you, other people, uh, not only do wrestlers get uh, impressed by other wrestlers, what manager, and maybe Bobby's one of them, what manager did you see, uh, Freddie Blassie, somebody like that, that inspired you? Well, all of them. Or were them, you on your, your own no, guy? Oh, no, no. All of them were so great. Of course, we came from Memphis, Tennessee, where we didn't have a big cable market. Did you know Presley? Got to meet Elvis twice, believe this or not. And I'll tell you about that real shortly okay. when I go into the music thing. Okay. But uh, I was just going to tell you, the uh, only way I could see the other managers was through the wrestling magazines back then. Because we didn't have a big cable that picked up New York right. wrestling. Or, it was regional. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But uh, I always loved Bobby Heenan. I thought he was just the, the best there is, mm -hmm. really. He's Originally great. from Chicago. Yes, you Bobby. better believe he right was. Right down here. Bobby, great. I love Mr. Fuji. Fred Blassie was awesome. Classy Lou Freddie Blassie. Lou Albano, tremendously. And from our era, you know, I love Jimmy Cornetta. Paulie Dangerously did so much for ECW. I thought he did great. So all the managers I really Lou loved. Lou Albano, uh, for people that don't know, of course, who had, uh, you know, I, I, I don't, he, he was friends with Cindy Lauper, but he was in the video with Cindy Lauper. Lou Albano was the first manager that looked like a wrestler. All the managers were usually outlandish, like hey, dressed night. He had the he had the hair, had the whole their whole persona. But he was a guy that looked like, and he did some and wrestling. He did, I think so did Bobby Heenan, yeah, right? But you know, that's what I said. Bobby, uh, manager turned ex wrestler. Right. Fred Blassie, manager turned ex wrestler. Okay. Mr. Fuji, wrestler turned ex manager. And uh, also, um, there's a couple of more that I'm probably forgetting about sure. that, that did wrestling. What else do you have going right now? Uh, well, I'm going to uh, let you see this, too. Let me I, see I, what you got going here. Anarchy Pro Wrestling, uh, Friday night. Berwyn it, Eagles Club, 6309 West 26. Doors open at 7 p.m. Yes. Bell time is 8 p.m. 8 p.m. But look at the special things. Tickets, 10 bucks. But $5 for kids if you dress... So if you in want costume. To, in costume. You could be a How about adults that dress in costume? You can, You know what? We might charge them $5 extra. Who knows if they do that? But uh, but let me just tell you. Yeah. Kids, this is what's so great about Anarchy Wrestling. You know, they've got eight big matches. they got ladies who are going to be on the card. Ladies, ladies going to wrestle in jello or just in the ring? Uh, any, they can dress in mud wrestling, jello wrestling, whipped cream wrestling. But I think they're going to wrestle in the ring on this in particular the ring, one. In the ring, okay. But it's fan-friendly. It's going to have so much fun for everybody. And, of course, if, if, the, if the dads want to bring the moms and the kids and let them watch the wrestling, we got giant screens around the building so they can watch any kind of sports they yeah. want to watch. Who's ever emceeing this thing? I did emcee a wrestling show at St. Joseph's High School about five, six, no, maybe longer. And Terry Funk was the main headliner, right? Oh, I love And Terry. I get into the ring and I go, from the double, I'm in a tuxedo, from the double R ranch. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. You're still wrestling? <laughs> Terry Funk. And he looked at me. And believe me, he could still go. It's, it's, Wrestlers never forget. They get out Terry. of bed ready to go. And Terry's a, and then Terry, I think, put on the show of shows because I said that to him. And then he, he got on the mic with me. He goes, I didn't like the disrespect, but I knew it was shtick. But he was serious. He, he probably went, let me tell you something right now. Absolutely. I was wrestling back before you were That's born. That's right. My daddy and my brother. <laughs> but I know this. Funks. Without yeah. guys like you. 
wrestling wouldn't have been what it is. I'm sorry, the managers just gave you the human element to what was going on inside the ring, the business element. Well, here's what's going to be so fun. We've got Zach Gowan. Zach Gowan yep. was a big star with, with uh, WWE at one time. The great Malaki's going to be there, and you didn't tell me? But yeah, that's How do you I'm, not tell me about the great Why don't you come out Malachi? and manage him? You need to manage Should him Should I manage the great Malaki? He's, he's been struggling. With the hat you had on a while ago, you would fit in perfect with a great Malaki. I promise Maybe you Maybe I should be a wrestling manager, and I, like the mad, I could have a wrestler like Corey be the mad chef. And I'll be like the a maitre d' in a tuxedo. Well, can he cook? The mad chef? No, but he's mad well, because okay. he can't that's cook. Great. I love it. That's, that's the best thing for him. That's the best thing for him. I Evening. love that. I'll Listen. tell you what, Jimmy. And you're a fun, fun guy. You come to play every time you're you're on the on the mic, or if you're doing, you've never given less than a hundred percent. Well, we love you. Before right. I leave, remember one thing. I What's that, my friend? You, never trust a midget. <laughs> Jimmy Hart, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs>